Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here. I'm on a business trip today in Tel Aviv and I thought that while I have a little bit of time uh, to kill, I would wander my way over down to the beach. As you can see, it's at uh, nighttime, but they have these fantastic big kind of floodlights in Tel Aviv. And I had an idea for a video and uh, that's what I'm doing right now. This video is uh, about different or unconventional microphones you can use in a pinch. So uh, two microphones that I'm going to be demonstrating in this video. The first one is the Audio-Technica AT875R. This is a shotgun XLR microphone and that's what you're listening to. Now the reason that uh, this is an unconventional setup is shotgun microphones are not typically used as handheld microphones but the, the point I'm trying to get across here is that this is something I've seen news crews doing like ENG crews. Guys will be shooting stuff with the shotgun. This is a microphone I use for almost all my videos that I'm shooting, not in my office. I put it into a shotgun mount on my Canon XA40. It's an incredible microphone, about 150 bucks, uh, XLR microphone requiring phantom power. So this is what it sounds like if you have to, for whatever reason, attempt to use it as an interview microphone. Now, I'm not an audio expert, but my guess would be the reason that shotgun mics aren't typically the go-to mics for this kind of work, handheld interview, is that they're very directional. So I'm trying to keep it at a rough distance from my face. What I'm gonna do now is actually put the shotgun microphone, while I'm shooting this clip, into the mount, and this should give you an idea for what it's gonna sound like uh, using it conventionally in, into the camcorder. Now I'm actually shooting this video with my Canon XA40 stacked on top of about 15 beach chairs because I don't have a tripod with me today. So in the spirit of this video of using unconventional gears, if I appear a little bit uh, sideways, that's the reason. So what I've done now is I've taken my uh, Audio-Technica AT875R and I've just put it literally on the beach chair that my camcorder is. So this is kind of simulating a more, I would say, classic uh, use for this camcorder. So it's actually about two meters away from me and I'm just gonna grab it off the chair. And now I've gone back to using it in sort of a handheld configuration. One more thing to point out is that I'm using automatic gain control on the Canon XA40, so I haven't set my levels manually, and therefore you might get a bit of probably clipping um, in post-production. I'm not gonna actually tamper with this audio just so you guys can see. Second microphone we're gonna try out in today's adventure is a Comica uh, XLR lav mic. This is a not a super expensive microphone. Again, it's not what you typically use for this kind of work. Um, I might also do it with a person later, but uh, I have seen YouTubers doing this, so I thought I would uh, also for this demonstration video go and hook that up. Okay, so the second microphone in the unusual microphone uh, sound off is the Comica CVM V020. This is one of relatively few XLR lav microphones on the market. Specifically, this is a lav mic that actually does require 48 volt phantom power, which again is super unusual. Um, and I have this guy recording directly into my uh, Canon XA40 Pro camcorder. Again, I'm using the automatic gain control. I will say for fellow camcorder fans who like to use the XLR ports on their camcorder just for their kind of sturdiness and the fact that you can control your gain at the top of at the touch of a button uh, this is definitely one of the advantages of uh, using an XLR lav mic even though there are definitely not that many of them on the market it means that you can just run it directly into the pro audio top handle or whatever connectivity you have on your particular camcorder so uh, that's what it is uh, like uh, the wind conditions just to kind of give all the sound specs here on the beach in Tel Aviv it's a fairly calm day There's there's a little bit of a gentle wind. So this is what it sounds like using these two. And if I get a chance to at a Hanukkah party I'm on the way to, I'm going to attempt to repeat this process uh, using both the shotgun mic and the lav mic as a interview mic, because unfortunately I could not co-opt any random people so far into this YouTube video.